All right. So I got a question from somebody in my Discord about uh, sounding good with specifically Equalizer APO and nothing else. And I figured, okay, I can try that. <laughs> um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, start with something real simple. Okay. And honestly, instead of doing all of these uh, shitty filters they have in here, I'm just going to use the uh, whatchamacallits. I'm going to use the Reaper plugins. You can get these real easy. Uh, I'll link there uh, in the website in the description, right? And I'm just going to put re -EQ on and uh, apply automatically. We want to check that one. I'm going to set a, a high pass filter at uh, 55 hertz. All right. Let me hear that. Hmm. We'll do 65. Better. All right. So 65 hertz. I'm also gonna go ahead and put this one here. Let's say. Two hundred. All right. We'll start with that. Turn down the cue and get a listen to this frequency here. Uh, I can hear. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm gonna turn that one down a tiny bit. Say two and a half dB. Or that is good enough. I'm going to take this one. Uh, and obviously I'm not, do, do not, do not copy my settings here. Like this is, uh, this is tailored to my voice, right? I'm doing this because I, I hear these frequencies in my voice being annoying and getting in the way of things. And so that's, uh, that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to treat it like that. I'm also going to add this as a band, put it around usually... For me, it's 890, right? And I'll show you that frequency. That frequency sounds uh, sounds like this right here. You can hear that's very, very annoying, very nasally. So I usually bring that one down. Actually, I'm going to do three and, a, uh, three and a half for that one. That's 35. I wanted to do 3.5 right there. That's uh, That was the goal, right? I'm going to add another band. Put it around 500-ish. Uh, 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 up, 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 uh, testing, testing, day there, right there, and that's going to be, uh, I'm going to take that one down a bit more, just because I'm really anal about that frequency, but that's going to be the extent of my EQ right there, um, all right, so we got the, uh, the EQ figured out, realistically, if you really wanted to, be, uh, extra chunky with it, you can take one around, uh, 65 hertz, right? Low Q, and then uh, real low Q, right? Raise that by like two and a half dB or so, just to to get the uh, the extra like you know chunk in there or something. But that's all I'm gonna do there. Just like very basic, quick EQ, just to clean up the annoying mid frequencies in my voice, right? So, and then I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna delete it, and I gotta do it again. Oh, I'm pausing it. All right, so uh, we totally didn't just have to pause it to fix the EQ, but uh, this is how the EQ sounds turned off, bypassed, right? And then this is with it on, you know, nothing too crazy. You saw what I did. After that, I'm probably going to do a uh, another VST plugin, right? But in this one, I'm going to do ReJS. I'm going to open the panel. I'm going to lewd. I'm going to go to Stillwell and Expander. The reason for that is getting rid of background noise. I don't know. This one might be... Ah, that's... Ugh. Ugh. I cannot stand this expander. I really don't like it. I'm going to show you a better alternative. Alright, so this right here is a plugin called ATK Expander.
now. Out of all the free uh, expanders I've heard, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this one is definitely one of the best ones, if not the best one. Bit too much background noise. All right, so that uh, fuck it, good enough. So after removing background noise, we're gonna want to tackle loud, right? So I'm gonna grab uh, recomp, right? You definitely want that. Uh, reason for that, no loud. The only thing that kind of sucks is you don't get to see it happen here, right? So, basically, I have to go based off of my ears. I'm going to do a ratio of 4 to 1. And I'm going to turn down... Okay. Right here, negative 20. That's about, uh, that's about where you want to be. Limit output, so that way, ah! You know, it just tames the loud stuff a bit. Might do negative 22, just to... That is not what I wanted. That's what I wanted, right there. Yep, mm -hmm. wonderful, perfect. So, there's that. Uh, cleans up the loud a bit. And then, well, after that, you can kind of just do whatever you want. You know, if you want to get something going via cray-crayness, right? You could do some retarded stuff, put some delay on there, whatever. But uh, this is the general, like, you know, sounded good deal. If I could find a way to group these, that'd be cool, but... Uh, like if I bypass the uh, the sounding stuff, not sounding like, you know, the sounding sounding, but you know what I mean. This is what it sounds like, dry, right? And then, you know, when I turn these three things on, I feel like it's definitely better. Granted, this is uh, maybe not exactly the, the best way to go about it, but I mean... If it works, it works. I guess what I'll end up doing is for the uh, the Discord people. If I can make, can I make these based on? No. All right, I'll try to figure out how to do a uh, free version of the stereo fix, so that way you don't have to use Fab Filter. But um, this is the most I can fig I can get going for right now with EQ APO. So. Hopefully that helps you. Thank you for watching. If you do, uh, I guess I'll check you out in a new video later. Go ahead and join my Discord in the description. It's going to be uh, worth it. You get one-on-one -on -one help if you're a Nitro Booster, too. Ooh, I'll take control of your computer, and I won't do anything weird. I promise. But, uh, yeah, go check that out.